we have briefly observed all types of measure in previous lesson. And now let's look into the real workflow with this tool. In first, let's choose point to point and we can lock lock the x. For example, the x. And let's make the first point. And now the color of the line is red. And now it's mm, the x line is blocked, and we can move only along one x. For example, you can see that x direction is here, and we can move only this way. But let's change it to the y x, and we can move along this direction, and this one you can see y x. And then we can lock and to use the z x. Let's make it clear, and we can get the distance between top point of this equipment. Press and to the roof. Okay, three meters, and we even get the, can get the distance between this point and the very bottom element, like a foundation. Yeah, and we've got it. But we can use this, all these locks options when we can measure elements in ZX because it's not it's not very convenient to use Y and X when our building is has some kind of rotation to this axis inside and. When we work with the large models, there are a lot of buildings, a lot of walls, pipes, and other things which we want to measure. But we have this tool, perpendicular tool, and let's make, let's do it clear, and then let's try it. And first, you should choose the base surface, the surface from which you are going to make a particular. So, I'm going to choose this surface, but it's not the base point, it's not the start point, it's only the surface. And now, I want to make a measure from this point to this one. But, we can notice that I do not go any longer than this direction, because I have already chosen this surface like a base. And I have a type of the lock of like a perpendicular. And now we can make a direction, make a measure to here. Now it's OK. And so, if I want to change the surface, I can go to none and clear and to make it again. And then I have the, the same. The same option to choose another on the surface. And you should remember that this type of, of cursor, the three lines in center of cursor, it means that you are searching for the surface. Now we are searching, now we are found it, and now the cursor has changed. And now we can start the first point, maybe even here. And now you can see that the direction is only in this way, because the surface, the best surface is this one. 